Oh my goodness, look, it's snowing. Memphis, are you catching snow in your cone? Are you gonna munch on it? Use it like a shovel. They're all looking at me. Uh, good morning, audience. Thanks for liking and subscribing to Snow Dogs Vlogs. What do you have? I don't think I've ever seen you pick that toy up. Is that the new favorite? That's the new, it's pretty cute. It's very fitting for you. It's definitely your color. Let's see, is this a new favorite? She's like, nah, you can take it. <laughs> yeah, you guys are cute too. Yeah, you're super cute too. So Valentine's Day is coming up pretty quick like here, which means we have to make Valentine's treats on the dogs channel. By the time you guys see this, it'll be up at youtube.com slash gone to the snow dogs yesterday. So Monday's video on the dogs channel. I'll try to remember to put a link up in the cards and down in the video description. Will be a new treat video, which you guys keep asking me for. So we're gonna do one of those. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I'll show you a little bit after I go get some stuff, but I have a few ingredients that I don't have here that I have to run out and get. And I don't know if it's gonna happen, but supposedly starting today, we're supposed to be getting like a ton of snow. My neighbor says six to 20 inches, but I believe it when I see it. Although it is snowing today. Do you want that off? Would you like that or do you not even care? Like, I don't know, it's kind of like my own personal little cubby hidey thing. I could take it off if you want. <laughs> like, no, I'm good, I'm adorable. <laughs> you wear that cone well, sweet pea. I made the mistake before I went to the store of forgetting that today is Super Bowl Sunday. Going to the store took me like twice as long, maybe three times as long than I intended it to. I'm still gonna make some dog treats though, because that's what I have to do today. But holy man, there were so many people at the store! And of course, because I know everybody in town, I ran into 15 million people that I know, and it took forever! But I'm home. The dogs are outside. I'm getting ready to prep the treats. Oh my gosh, look how cute. I found these super cute bandanas at Meyer. <laughs> so they get to wear cute bandanas. I didn't don't think I had Valentine va bandanas at all for the girls. I think I had some little pink bows and stuff, but these are way cuter. Way cuter. And they were only like a dollar fifty. So I'm like, oh, we'll buy those. They're a little a little bit big. They kind of are a little wide there, but that's okay. They're super cute. It'll look cute for the video. Now to get all the rest of the stuff we need. Oh, I also found this cool thing for drizzling stuff. And then this was on sale for 50% off. So why the heck not? I needed another one anyway. You ready to make some treats? Say yes. Yes, I am. And here's the disastrous aftermath mess. We're not done yet though, are we? This is what they look like before they went in the oven. So we kind of made like marbly hearts. I don't know what I'm going to call them. I haven't decided yet. Before you freak out, no, it's not chocolate. It's carob powder that gave it that color. And then what gave it the pink color is the beet juice. But you will see that on the dog's channel when you go look at that. But I gotta pop these in the oven. What do you think? They're like, we helped, we helped. Where'd Shelby go? Shelby pretty much stayed in there. <laughs> Shelby's like, I like cooked treats. I'm not a big fan of raw treats. All right, let's put these in the oven. It is the day after the day I made dog treats because after I made dog treats, we kind of really didn't do a whole lot. So. This is two days into one day. We're leaving the house because we have cabin fever. <laughs> we don't know where we're going, but we're leaving the house for a little bit. You girls are going to stay here for a little bit. I know. Conehead Memphis. I know. I know. You'll be fine. We're not going to be gone long, I promise. Maybe tomorrow we'll take you on an adventure. Actually, you get to go on an adventure tomorrow because you have to go to the vet tomorrow. We'll take you guys to the vet with us tomorrow. Do you guys recognize this spot in the river? We've been watching for, if you've been watching for a while, we've come back here many times. But do you recognize it without all of the leaves? Oh, we didn't bring your drone. <laughs> uh. Last time we were here, we flew the drone. We drove the Jeep back here. <laughs> oh, it's very pretty. I think I'm going to walk down here and let you guys listen to the river. I don't think you can hear it from here. Maybe. No, maybe not. This is the fun road we had to, this is where it was bumpy. 
drive down to get back here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not too deep, you can no. see. No. But there are definitely some ruts. Like, yeah. Man. Ugh, ugh. Yeah, the snow is not deep, but. Yeah, if you hang your frame up on something. <laughs> We'd be in trouble. Man. <laughs> Oh, there's a good bump. Whoa! So the one benefit to the lack of snow is we can still get back to some of our favorite spots in the wintertime without worrying about getting too stuck in the snow. But right. the downside is that we have a lack of snow. <laughs> At least we know the ground is frozen back here, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We hope so anyway. We hope so. <laughs> yeah! And we're home! See, we weren't gone that long, were we? They're like, oh, we get lunch. Mmm, lunch. Was it good, Memphis? You ate all yours. <laughs> Shelby, of course, is taking her time as always. Silly girls. <laughs> well, Memphis, you want to tell him or you want me to tell him? You, want to, you, won't, be, you won't be embarrassed if I tell him, will you? <laughs> so, the spot you guys have still seen on her chin, that's where she had the... Um, biopsy done on her chin. She had one done on her chin and she had one done right above her eye. Well today, we she busted this open a couple days ago because I forgot to put the cone on her when she went outside. Um, so that's why that one still looks bad. But she hasn't scratched above her eye at all and today Jamie and I noticed, I know you like that because it itches, huh? You can see right there above her eye, that spot's coming back. It's very red. She's very itchy. Now she's not on her allergy medicine anymore. So could be why. They did say it's hypersensitivity. We are going to the vet tomorrow. Our recheck was tomorrow. Um, the vet actually, our vets is so awesome. I sent the one vet some pictures on Facebook. Uh, Dr. Danielle and Dr. Ryan Knight are two of the vets at our office. And I sent Dr. Danielle some pictures and Dr. Ryan called me and said, oh, you sent my wife some pictures in Memphis? And I'm like, yeah. So he called to talk to me a little bit about it, and we're going to go in tomorrow and see what we're going to do. I think we're going to put her back on the allergy medicine and monitor her, see if it changes. Because the skin biopsy did come back and say hypersensitivity, but I don't know that it was a definitive definitive. They Actually, the, pat the pathologist and the dermatologist both said hypersensitivity, but we don't know what it's a hypersensitivity to. She could have seasonal allergies. She could have food allergies. You could have some type of allergy allergies. Are you allergic to peoples? I hope not, because you really like peoples. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. You just, you just don't want me to stop. Okay. So anyway, I thought I'd update you guys on that. We thought we were in the clear, and we thought we were doing pretty good, but not yet. Still got itchy Memphis. Still got itchy Memphis. But we're putting some aloe on it because it makes it stop itching and feels really good. And the vet said that it's good for her. So that's what we're doing. I know. She's like, please just don't stop touching me ever. Never stop touching the puppy. Is that, is that really happening? She's almost got all of her feet off the ground. All right, come up here. She's come so close. Here. So, oh, this camera likes to focus for no reason. Yeah, My other camera's in the other room, room, but I didn't want to disturb Oakley. Hi. Oh, Hi. oh, Hi. my goodness! Hi, Oakley. Oakley's on a bean bag here with <laughs> no. Jamie. No, if you just lay down. <laughs> That's Hi. the snuggliest I've ever seen her. No, Sorry about the focus on this camera, you guys. It's kind of dumb. Aww. Look at that. That's just, yeah. that's crazy. I'm afraid to move. I'm afraid she's Hi. just gonna like freak out. How you doing? <laughs> what do you think about that, Shelby? Can you, can you try it without Lincoln? She's like, no. no. <laughs> that was, that was, wow, nice. that was some accomplishment going on right there. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, look at that. Maybe you'd be laying up here, huh? Good girl. Come on, lay down. Come here. She's like, <laughs> no. This is why I don't vlog with this camera, you guys. If you ever wanted to know, I'm filming this clip on my G3X. Hey, up here. It likes to focus and unfocus for no reason. <laughs> Bye, Oakley. I'm done. Well, you had a buddy for... Oh, that was... Oh, she's coming back. Get over here. She's thinking about it. She's seriously considering it. Oh, I like that. Come here. 
<laughs> She's like, I kind of liked that, but I'm not. Maybe, maybe I do. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> 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 Is this like the couch? You can jump on it. It's kind of like the we'll, couch, Dad. We'll let you jump on it. You yeah, you can it? jump and do your crazy dig thing on it if you want to. We'll let you. <laughs> She's like, no, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> good job, honey. Good job. Good job. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shh, you're not supposed to know I'm recording you. I didn't want to say anything while well, she was trying to do that. But that was pretty cute. Thanks for liking and subscribing to Snow Dogs Vlogs.